Welcome to the Firepower Proof of Value video series. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up an ASA running the Firepower 6.0.1 image. Now there are two options for this image. One is a unified image, unifying the ASA and Firepower code. The other is a separate image, where the ASA, ASDM, is separated from the Firepower image. There are reasons to go either way. The ASA ASDM image maintains all the ASA functionality, while the unified image has some of that functionality. However, specific features such as EIGRP and multi-context mode are to come with a later unified image. For this video, I will be using the separate image. To learn more about both the unified and separate image, See the release notes for version 6.0.1 of the Firepower software. The first step in the installation process is to gain command line access to your ASA firewall. In my use case, I'm using an ASA 5512X. If you don't have command line access due to not having password privileges, you may need to go through the password recovery process. Once you have command line, the first thing to do is to check the state of your module because the ASA requires an SSD drive or in the 5585 series a blade to accommodate the Firepower software. The command for that is show module. In my example, I already had the source fire system installed running 6.0.1. However, I will go through the process anyways to do the installation. If you have the CX or old IPS systems installed and running, you must first disable those before you can enable the source fire capabilities. For example, to shut down the old IPS software, you would use the command software module module IPS shutdown followed by software module module IPS uninstall to uninstall that software. Once your CX or IPS software shut down, you should be ready to start the Firepower software installation. You will need to download the Firepower and ASA software from the ASA Firepower website. The two software packages you want to download for the installation process is the ASA Firepower 6.0.1 PKG file and the ASA Firepower boot image file that's 6.0.0.1. Once the software is downloaded, it's important to do the basic setup for your ASA firewall. The first thing you may do to a factory config level using the command config factory default. You may have already done this when trying to gain access to the command line of your ASA. Best practice for a proof of value is to use a transparent firewall mode versus inline. This way, you're lowering the risk of impacting your customer's network by using a copy of the traffic versus being inline. You will need to set up the management interface so you can gain access to your ASA. In my use case, I'll be using the management IP address of 10.0.2.115. You will want to go through the basic setup of adding a password, and your current time zone, as well as DNS, and setting up access lists to be able to access the management of the ASA. Once you've finished the basic access, you should be able to access the ASA by putting the IP address in in a browser and downloading the ASDM software. When logged into ASDM, you should be able to see the ASA and ASDM version of software that you have. One recommendation is to go to Tools, check for ASA ASDM updates, and use your Cisco CCO to log in and validate that you have the latest ASA and ASDM software. This upgrade wizard will simplify the upgrade process of your ASA and ASDM. For example, I can upgrade from 9.5.2 to 
to 9.6.1, as well as upgrade from 7.5 for ASDM to 7.6.1 using this upgrade wizard. 